Okay. Here we go. Finally got most of, <clears throat> most of the iron machine done. Uh, and we're going to take a look at that now. Just through a bed in the first floor of the two Prudential here. It's across the street from this, which I AFK uh, last night after finishing this building, which is the Consumers Building in Chicago. Everything, every surface built on a slab. And in case you haven't followed, um, uh, what, what I'll do is slip into creative so you can see better. Game mode. Creative, there we go. And we'll fly up. This is one of four iron machines pumping iron into the basement of this large building. So you can see they spawn in there and then they die on that lava block and they get collected by this network of hoppers. Now they're getting created in these little bins because this little bin is the only thing that is not um, uh, on a slab. It's or on a half piece or anything like that. It's it's full block. So the iron golems spawn in there. I don't like how that piece is stuck right there. I have to think of a fix for that. But anyways, they're spawning in there because, of course, the um, villagers are here simulating a village. And the villagers are being scared by this zombie. Who has a name tag. And then the block over his head so that he doesn't disappear or burn up. So he scares them. They create the golems. The golems float into the lava blade. And die over those, those hoppers. The hoppers carry the stuff to a collection area. So I got one of those, there's another one burning down there now, uh, two, three, and four. Now I believe the rules on this is they had to be 16 blocks apart. I did mine 20 blocks apart and I think the other rule was uh, level 64 to level uh, 128 on the Y coordinate. Now I got lucky because my fourth one uh, that's level 126, I believe, down there. So uh, without knowing that rule, <laughs> I built this fourth machine within two blocks of the of the current limit. Now, um, is it was the most difficult part, of course, was getting villagers up here. You know, up 120 blocks or higher. Um, and uh, what I did was, in case something bad happens or some newbie comes in here and breaks something or somebody griefs it somehow, we can reseed the whole machine with villagers much more easily by building this to the villager nesting building over there. And they just get rolled up these. Again, remember, this is all built in survival. It's all done survival. So uh, I can't just go up there and flop them in in creative mode. Anyways, um, there's, a, there's a dead power track on the top of each roof for each um, machine. So I could just drop new villagers down right there if I wanted to. And uh, so this railroad you see is for reseeding uh, villagers and monsters just in case we have to. Um, this is basically the main line for the network of iron that gets dropped. From all the different machines that line goes all the way from the top down and is plumbed into the collection area which is in the basement here so iron depot is down here and you can see that that the tower of hoppers comes down and drains into this and it goes into the floor still so if you go downstairs here there is a large network of uh, double crates that are all connected. And you can see just by AFKing for one night I have one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Okay, so we're starting our seventh. So we've got six total double crates of iron in one day. Uh, it's to the point now where I'm afraid it's just going to overrun and become a memory problem. So I'm trying to figure out a clever way to shut it off. Now manually, right now, I could go up to each machine of the four iron machines, I think, and just stick blocks in front of um, the zombie so he can't scare them anymore. I think that will work. I don't know. I hate to think I gotta kill the zombies when we fill up the depot below. But you see the zombies don't let them sleep. They keep getting up and then they produce another they produce another um, golem. But um, yeah, so this uh, took quite a bit to get done. Um, it was all based on Vanilla Dip's prototype out here. Which, interestingly enough, seems to have stopped working. Let's see, did it? Yeah, it did. I wonder if it's because I built mine uh, uh, too close to the prototype. Or if it has something to do with these witches coming in here. Um, I don't even know how they got in there. He didn't put them there, I didn't put them there. Anyways, this will get torn down now because we don't need it anymore, but I didn't want to take it down without Vanilla Dip's blessing. So there's four of those inside of this guy, as I showed you. And it's just flooding us with iron so quickly. Like I said, i got to figure out a way to shut it off. Um... This was a really big and complex project, at least for me. Uh, it was a lot of fun, though. And uh, I think one of the cooler things, this is a building in Chicago called the Consumer's Building. And, um, and it hides the ironworks for us. So, yeah, here's a look at the outside. And the building itself, I believe, goes up to 140. So it's not, you know, by far not the biggest structure we got, but it was kind of the perfect building for this little spot of real estate. Um, and covered uh, almost perfectly four of those machines vertically. So, yeah, very happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks nice, it fits nice and works just perfectly um a month ago we had iron shortages going on in the in the central depot vanilla dip made that machine and it filled up the the crates we had assigned to um uh, iron in the depot i thought geez maybe we can just turbocharge this and that's what that big building ended up being so you can see there still has to be some cleanup done here um, here's the receiving area and what you'll see is that what I did is I had a temporary track that ran over to this building where basically we're just just farming uh, villagers on this I think it's second or third floor here just feeding them and feeding them lots of beds in there and they just keep reproducing it used to be an auto farm uh, and it's long since not worked so I just took the villagers that were supposed to be auto farming and started cranking out villagers <clears throat> so I loaded them up there and they came on a temporary track in this direction and you can just feed them into the side of the building now and stop on any one of the four machines up above and you see, you see how awesome that is. I mean, look how many of those things it kills. That's just one. I think we've seen four burn since I started the video. So, you know, all four machines doing that. You can see there's another one burning. 
This is very effective. If you have questions about this, um, please feel free to comment. And um, I usually answer pretty quick. But this has been really cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.